come on, babe. <laughs> put a girl out of her misery. <laughs> now what folks say when they put a dog down? <laughs> Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I never made it to the blue show. Just popped today for a quick one and I never knew you had all this fun. Oh, yeah, 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 it doesn't matter. <laughs> the man from Dell Underwell, Teddy! Yeah! All right, come on, who's find the bubbly? Oh, I don't know what we're doing here. There's free drinks at the bistro. Come right, on, then. What about you? Oh. Right, well, if the engagement party would like to advertise the bistro. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> on your way, thank Typical. you very much. Typical. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Who? my pub. Go on, Sean, you might as well join him in the bistro. I was worried what you might do if you found out who Shona really was. I mean, I tried to get rid of her. I tried to pay her off to leave you alone. And then when Shona found out about your plan to kill Clayton, well, we had a mother's pact to keep each other's secrets. You know, if you had a brain cell, it'd be lonely. David. Don't you see, Mum, that all this is your fault? I mean, if you'd have just told me in the beginning that the woman I'd fallen for was the mother of Kylie's murderer, none of this would have happened, would it? I'm going for a walk till you calm down. Oh, where are you walking to? New Zealand. Do you know what? You can take all this lot with you. What are you doing? Chucking you out. What's it look like I'm doing? Yeah, well, we both need time out. Yeah, well, you can take some time out of the house. Permanently. Move. Well, this... I know, it is interesting. It's really interesting. Mm. They say, what do you call it, the Apprenticeship scheme. OK. And you think that, uh, Do you think this would really help, Seb? Oh, well, Patrick, it stands to reason. Patrick? Patrick? Yeah. Did Seb tell you to call me that? No, I just thought... Please. Call me Pat. OK. Well, it stands to reason, really. A job could be crucial to Seb's successful reintegration after his release. OK, I'm liking the sound of it. Because I'm a bit of a philanthropist myself, and that doesn't mean I collect stamps. <laughs> you would have to go through all the necessary checks. You think me being a serial killer might be a problem? <laughs> I'm jo I am joking. I'm joking. OK, that all sounds... sounds great. Do you have a... Oh, of course. There you go. I get my people to call your people. Ms. Nicola Rubenstein, Rubenstein? Stein. Stein. Can I ask you something, Nicola? Of course. Um. <clears throat> hey, Todd. Hmm. I'm not interrupting anything, am I, stepdaddy? Do you know what? I better get my skates on. Oh, my God, it's Jane Tarville. Hey, manners. Mm -hmm. Give us a call, yeah? Yeah, I will. Thanks. Thank you. Peace, you. Take care. Pat, does me mum know you're having fit women back to the house? This is you, fit women. Come on, then. Who is she? Mm, that's odd. It's the million-dollar question. Oh, I think it's brilliant you put the question in, though. Yeah, it's dead feminist. Well, no, actually, I am quite a feminist. I used to love the spice. No, oh, girl power. No, I, I had a pencil case. Nothing says feminism quite like a pencil case, does it? Who's your favourite? Spice Wars. I'm gonna go with Jerry because that day when she went from platform trainers into ordinary high heels was so powerful. Mm, <laughs> iconic. <laughs> Are you all kid? Of course he is. He's getting married. She's so perfect. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> oh, not now, Ruth. Yes, now. What did the neurologist say? It's just a bacterial infection. Stress-related, apparently. Right. The antibiotics they've given me should cure the dizziness, so then I'll be right as rain. Oh, thank God for that. Mm. Don't know what I'd do if anything happened to you. <laughs> well, do you know what? What? If you're antibiotics, you won't be wanting that. Oh. Isn't it lovely that Aidan said yes? No, it is. It's, it's, it's really lovely. <laughs> you sound funny when you talk through great teeth. Oh, shush you. you made up for all. And fingers crossed, it's a, it's a long one. Long what? Engagement. Why? Because it's my wedding this year, not theirs. 
I want the perfect day. I don't want everybody saying they're saving their best fascinator for Evers. No, I won't be saying that, Jenny. Well, exactly. <laughs> but then I don't want my bridesmaids wearing fascinators. Phew! Touched a bullet there. But then again, you see, our day is going to be a classy affair. <laughs> Look at Evers' proposal and marry Archie Bound. Her honeymoon's gonna be margaritas round a sombrero shaped swimming pool getting over yesterday's hangover common, basically. Did you get proposed to in the factory? Top that up with you, parched. <laughs> I promise I won't be long. I've got a quick work email. I need to send, so I need to go home. Mm -hmm. Emails on the phone, Kate. Yeah, but I need to send um, over some figures. Um, I've got it all on a document on my laptop. It won't take long. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> David, let me in. The chain's on. Let me in. Everything all right, Gail? Yes. It's fine, thank you, Ken. Thank you. David, you're showing yourself up now. Oh, oh fire and water. Here you are, Ken. Uh, <laughs> oh, these fans are absolutely useless, and they charge you five feet for a privilege. Yeah, hate that. Do you want a bag? No, I plan to carry everything home on my head. Yeah, well, I remember when bags were bags. Yeah. I bet you remember when it was all fields as well, do you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, I'll help you home. No, with it's these. okay, it's okay, I can manage. No, don't be daft. No, honestly, honestly. No, truth be told, I'm avoiding someone. Oh. Oh, well, really put it like that. Mm. Come on then. Well, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, hello to you too. You get engaged and the first thing you do is come round here to me. Well, that's exactly why I've come over. Look, this changes nothing between us. Or I shouldn't have to. You know how I feel. Are you for real? Look, I still want to be with you. Well, then why have you just told her that you'd marry her then? Look, Aidan, you've made your choice, OK? You can get off now. No. I'm going nowhere. Are you not? No. Well, I am. You can do what you want. <sighs> Oh, it's service with a smile in here tonight. Yeah, well, Mum Lisa's got an album naked. Oi, look at you. This is an engagement. It's supposed to be about unity, healing, stuff like that. Thank you. Get these down. Oh, oh. you're going for it tonight, yeah. aren't you? Oh, we've got a lot to celebrate. Brother's engagement party. Uh, when were you um, thinking of having the actual thing, Eva? The thing? Um, well, we've not got that far yet. I think 2018's got a really lovely ring to it. Where's my dad, Jenny? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's gone to the little boy's room. Well, hopefully he's gone to find Aidan. Well, has he gone AWOL? Yeah, missing his own engagement party. Brilliant. <laughs> maybe you scared him off. Maybe he's done a runner. <laughs> As is. Mm, maybe he's on an insinuation with a secret mistress. <laughs> Assignation. Actually, he's gone to work. He needed to do some stuff on his laptop. Ah, well, happen they're both keeping us in work, so let's not knock it, eh? Down in one. <laughs> What's your faith? Whoa. Uh, listen, I meant to ask you something. Does Seb get on with his case manager? Nicola? Yeah. Um, I think so, why? OK. Does he see a lot of her? Um, yeah. Why are you asking? OK. Well, I'm just talking to her about potentially Offering Seb an apprenticeship. Oh my God, that's amazing. I know. I know I get a bad press, especially in your house. But if helping Seb is going to make you happy, then I've got to do it, haven't I? Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Okay. Now listen, I will take you out to see him again, but nobody else needs to know, okay? Hey, hello. You all right? Yeah, fine. What's for tea? Egg and chips. Egg and chips. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Oh, you're welcome. What are you talking to her for? Oh, nothing. She just wants us to know about some building wrecks for her homework. Can someone come and take the chain off the door, please? No, it's you. Yeah, of course it is. Who do you think it is? Chuck Mum out. What? Why? 
Oi, Vicar! Over here, you'll want to wear this. Sorry? Do you want to know why that Sean has done a runner? Well, yeah. Yeah, we do, yeah. Is she all right? Well, I'll tell you then, shall I? Oh, David, come on. She's Clayton's mum. You what? Shona is Clayton's mum. No. Yeah, the guy who killed my wife. You're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? No wonder you threw your phone at the mirror. Shona, the woman you want me to take advice from. Nice one. Right, but what's that got to do with mum? Because she knew. Mum? Yeah, and didn't bother to tell me. That's why I've chucked her out. <sighs> I think I've got a cold sore coming. I hate cold sores. Yep. Leave me alone. What are you doing here? Like you've ever eaten a kebab in your life. Have you just come here to be rude to me? It's a compliment. A bit late for them, isn't it? Will you just mind the shop for me? I'm just going to go in the back for a minute. Oh, I could hardly say no when she asked me so publicly. So what are you saying? You want to marry her then, or not? All I know is I don't want this to end. Can you just clarify this? I love you both. You know that. And, and you said you were more than happy with the situation. Yeah, it was until you agreed to marry her, which means that... No, which means nothing. Which means that you obviously love her more than you love me. You know, there's a word for men like you, Aiden. Tom. Greedy. Somebody want to tell me what's going on? No, 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 it was my fault. You make your mind up. Well, I was coming back from the flat and then I saw Maria looking all upset and... Why are you upset? Be because I'm sad that us two aren't speaking. Us three? You're not supposed to be speaking to her. I hate seeing anyone upset. What, is that the sound of a mariachi band I can hear or the sound of violins? Aidan, come on, we're supposed to be at our own engagement party. for a drink later. Ches is coming in and I can get off. So, who or what are you avoiding? Uh, mm, can we pretend I didn't say that? <laughs> of course. I suppose what I'm really avoiding is real life. <laughs> is that... Was that your missus? Deirdre, yeah. yeah. Sorry I didn't meet her. She looks great. <laughs> she was. Was there an age gap between you? Yeah, quite considerable, actually. And yet, uh, she went first. Not what I was planning at all. Mm. I'm quite a bit older than Jenny. Of course, yes, you're engaged. Yeah. I'm struggling to keep up with her, to be honest. She has all this boundless energy. And she's careering ahead, and I feel like I'm just winding down. I am familiar with that feeling, believe it or not. I mean, the last thing I want is to be a burden. Well, none of us want that, do we? But I imagine, in the end, we're all going to be a burden to somebody. How can we not be? <sighs> I best get off. OK, I'll see you out. Ah, thanks for that. And thanks for your help. Yeah, pleasure. What was he doing down kebab shop? I was just talking to Maria. Oh, could just go in a bit of kebab, could you? Babes, you out of your mind? Wedding diet. Oh, and you'll look fabulous. If you play your cards right. <laughs> do you know, I think 2018 will be your year. Do you? Yeah, I do, actually. You know, I'm quite into numbers. Numerology, all that jazz. I'll bear that in mind. I, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, Aidan, but... One way of putting it, I suppose. I can see how happy you make Eva. Can you? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I know I can never be your mum. Well, I'm far too young for starters, but I do hope that we can put any acrimony behind us. I like you. I mean, yes, 
You can be an arrogant so-and-so at times. Pig-headed, sullen. But do you know what? God, you just won't let it drop, will you? Sorry? Today, of all days, can you not just let it go? It's dead in here. It's like a bad night in the morgue. Well, I should know I used to work in one. Does it? Well, my mate did. Well, I say mate, it was this guy that I met on a bus once. Mm, well, I say boss. You're being lippy! <laughs> She's being lippy, Liz. <laughs> She's always lippy, is Marie. It's the first thing people say about it. <laughs> See? You can do it. She has had a face like a slap backside all night, and it ain't pretty. Should uh, you be getting back? You know, your curfew. Oh, no, no, I'm off my tag now, Liz. Oh, it's a relief, in it? Oh. oh, yeah, that must be a weight off your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you OK? Gemma's right, you do seem a bit... Oh, no, I'm fine. Really. Well, you want to let your cheeky little chap to know that. Well, do you know what? I'm sick of lying. No, I'm not fine. I've been, um... been seeing this guy and... Well, he's seen someone else. Oh. You're joking. No, and you know what the daft thing is? Like, the really daft thing? Is that he's miserable as sin. Like, all he does is lie to her. Well, it must be blind if he's going to choose some other bird over you. Hey, we have all been there and it stinks. Yeah. Well, he has chosen her, so I better get used to it. Well, that's one way of looking at it. And the other way is... War. <laughs> Congratulations. Listen, you don't want to be down on Aidan talking to Maria. What's this got to do with you? Well, he's family, isn't he? And so is she. Well, all right. Well, when we get married, you and Leanne will be family, kind of. So why don't you two sort your differences out, eh? Now you know that's different. She's like with my husband. Look, I know you're not the greatest believer in marriage, no, but... it's I... not that. It's just... <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is... Make up with Maria, eh? For everyone's sake. Good friends are hard to find, you know. Well, she's got an essential, make me the matron of honour. Stop it. Or me the matron of dishonour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having this wedding being camp. Uh, hello, have you seen who you're marrying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why are you being so horrible to me? <sighs> me? Horrible? What's the pot calling the kettle? Well, I've hardly seen you all day. What's got into you? Oh, leave me alone, Jenny. Well, I will not leave you alone. I'm your fiance. Don't. Do what? I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to call it a day. What do you mean? What I'm saying. It's over. I was being nice to Aidan. I was never going to go at him. No, I'll, I'll apologise if you want to. I mean, not there's anything to apologise for. It's not that. It's... What? Everything. I've been having doubts for a while. And, and this isn't a wind-up? Sorry. You're never going to believe this, but Shona is your wife. Todd? No, it's Clayton's mum. Clayton's mum? Seriously? Yeah, I'm not messing. David just told me and your mum before. Didn't I say? From day one, that girl is bad news. He hey, hey, just because her sons are wrong, it doesn't mean she is too. Oh, come on, Billy. He's got it from somewhere. Anyway, she's a freak. That means, right, she's hung round here knowing full well who David was. It's like she stalked him into submission. Everyone deserves a second chance. Oh, you're all heart, you. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Children present. See her over there. All you ever do to her is lie. And what you've got with me is honesty. And no, I'm not happy anymore being the other woman. In fact, I 
Oh my God, Maria, this is so weird. I've not come here for a fight. Good, because you're not going to get one. I'm, I'm going to be the bigger person here and say that I think we should bury the hatchet. Oh, you've changed the tune. And the whole reason that we fell out in the first place is because we were such good mates. And I reckon, with me, yeah, you get one strike, then you're out. <laughs> to watch this semi-final morning. I missed you. I missed you being my bezzy. And <laughs> you are going to be so excited by this. What? <laughs> I insist that you're my bridesmaid. What do you say? <laughs> oh, come on, please say yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, literally chuffed to bits for myself. No, don't go looking better than me, though, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we're playing on? As well you know, she's very hard to say no to. See, so you have come for a fight. Agent, I'm sick of playing second fiddle to her. Always making do with a fuzzy end of the lolly stick, but I know, I know that I can make you happy. And I do make you happy. Do you love me? I would do. Right, well then it's time to make a choice. Who's it gonna be, me or her? Well, next, after 14 years of jail time, proving a man's innocence isn't going to be easy for Helen McCrory, reading between the lies in our brand new drama series, Fearless.